Welcome to my mathematics class. In our lesson today, we would like to proceed in this topic on loci, uh, lo locus, or uh, the plural for that, the loci. <clears throat> and uh, we'll build on what we did last uh, in the last lesson. And in that lesson, we had talked about the locus of a point that moves in such a way that it is always equidistant from another fixed point. Today we want to look at um, uh, the locus of a point that moves in such a way that it is always equidistant from a fixed line. So the other time it was from a fixed point, today a point that moves in such a way that it is the same distance from a fixed line. And that's why we have drawn this line here, Mn. Now, before we go to the actual construction, you remember we said um, loci is the application of geometric construction. So before we go to the actual uh, construction, let's think about the, this locus in uh, real life. Suppose you stretch out your arm from the board and then walked, ensuring that that distance is not changing um, in front of the board like I have done. You realize that if we were to mark the point where your feet are we put a point there and then we make a step and put another point and make another step and put a point down there on the floor, we will end up with a series of points. Maybe we can think about it this way. Look at this. If this was the edge, if this was the edge of the wall, and then you are moving uh, such that you are a given distance from the wall, a fixed distance, from the, uh, the wall, you realize that the points, if they were to be joined together, the path would make a straight line. So the other thing to note is that that straight line will be parallel to the wall. So a point that moves in such a way that it is always equidistant from a given line, like the line we've drawn here, will trace out a line, another line, parallel to the given line. Note that in a question like the one we have here, we will need to be told whether that point is on the upper, uh, upper side of the line or the lower side of the line, or in a situation where we are not told that, for instance, our point is on the upper side or on the lower side, then our locus will appear on both sides of the given line. So let's look at a question which I have down here. <coughs> Draw the locus of a point that moves so that it is always four centimeter from the straight line MN given. There is the MN here. And uh, we need now to trace the path followed by a point which moves such that it is always four centimeter from this line. In this case, we are not told whether it's on the upper side of MN or the lower side of MN. And therefore we need to have that in mind as we do the construction. So we need a pair of compasses, like the one I have here with me. We will also need a straight edge, and I have it there. Now, very important, we need to be able to construct a perpendicular uh, line at M. So the procedure now for getting the locus, we have the sharp point of the compass at M, and we make an arc, 
and then using the same radius or even a different one we strike an arc there another one there and finally with the same radius we are constructing a perpendicular at m so we need to join that up here the intersection of the arcs make sure the construction lines are light so we've already uh, constructed a perpendicular at m now in our question it was not it, it is not stated clearly whether the lockers will be on the upper side or on the lower side and that's why we need to extend this perpendicular uh, to the other side of the line like that we need to construct a perpendicular also on at n so the same steps construct an arc like that then with the same radius strike an arc with the same radius strike an arc there here and that way we already have a perpendicular line at n we can use the straight edge there you are we can make it longer also to go to the other side okay. we extend it to the other side we can need to make it much longer there you have it and we were told that the point moves in such a way that it is always four centimeters from the fixed line so when we have a perpendicular at this point we are sure that when we open up four centimeter on our ruler we will be able to now mark that distance on this side that's four four centimeter and then we all, we know if we mark the same four here and on the other side we now know that this point is four centimeter from m this one is also four centimeter from n and we are aware that if we now join this point to this one this is our point p if we join this point to this one we will have a line parallel to mn along that line all the points on that line will be four centimeter from mn the same on the other side this is also four centimeter and this is four centimeter so if we join this point we can even call it q if we joined this point here we know that all the points on that line are also four centimeter from the line we were given so finally we join up this oh sorry we join that up carefully not been very careful there but again you need to join them up carefully like that yes make sure the, the line is a thin one properly joined we can uh, we join up that properly straight line and down here also straight line and this is where therefore p is here four centimeter four centimeter four centimeter four centimeter and also on that so this line is the locus of p this is also the locus of p so in a question it will be stated clearly whether p is on the upper side of mn or on the lower side of mn
otherwise we we are going to stop there um, we now have learned two types of loci one the locus of a point that moves in such a way that it is equidistant from another fixed point that was the locus uh, the, the locus was a circle and um, for this one a point that moves in such a way that it is always equidistant from another fixed line, we have seen that it is a line parallel to the given one on both sides. If the, 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 the side where the point is moving is not mentioned. Otherwise, we stop there. We will um, now move to another type of locus in the next lesson. So make sure you subscribe so that we will move to the next one together. Otherwise from me, it's goodbye.